The AMCA will undergo yet another critical design review. The first image of 150 km range M1 interceptors developed under Project KUSA, for the indigenous long-range surface-to-air missile system has emerged on social media. Brazilian firm Embraer will open a new subsidiary in New Delhi by the second quarter of 2025. Polish defense firm WB Group and Larsen and Tubro have signed a memorandum of understanding to drive next-generation autonomous solutions tailored for Indian military. The RDO's electromagnetic railgun is now ready for field trials. The Indian Air Force chief flew a 35-minute sortie on the newly upgraded HJT-36 Yazhar's jet trainer and the light-utility helicopter, and he expressed his satisfaction over the flying experience. Indian Army has released a request for information for the procurement of 1,000 surveillance copters for high-altitude areas. Rafale Advanced Defense Systems and Larsen and Tubro have signed an MOU to offer the Trophy Active Protection System locally to the Indian Army. Larsen and Tubro has partnered with Advanced Weapons and Equipment India to compete in Indian Army's requirement of 814 mounted gun systems. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India has indigenized the 30mm six-barrel gun for AK-630M close-in weapon system of the Indian Navy. Zeus Numerix has showcased its next-generation drone-launched precision-guided munition at the Aero India. A high-level military delegation from the Ministry of the Armed Forces of Chad visited Kalyani Strategic Systems. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has delivered around 100 remote control weapon systems to the Indian Army for T-72 tanks. The DRDO will test a 75 km naval variant of Pinnaka rocket this year, for underwater operations and submarine countermeasures. Data Patterns has developed an electronic warfare kit for Su-30 aircraft called the Talon Shield. The first HTT-40 trainer for the Indian Air Force will be rolled out from the Nashik plant in September 2025. Ministry of Defense has signed a tech transfer agreement with HHV Thermal Technologies for the local production of carbon-silicon carbide throats, jet vanes and microwave-absorbing structures for BrahMos missiles. The AMCA will undergo yet another critical design review, as after enhanced stress and load testing, it was determined that the design required additional tweaks, and metal cutting activities will be conducted later in 2025. Aeronautical Development Agency officials have specified that initial stress and load tests were conducted with 90% of the projected load, but the agency management has since issued instructions to ensure that the airframe and structure of the planned aircraft is capable of supporting 100% of the required loads. As the AMCA is due to incorporate additional design changes to accommodate the latest findings, a critical design review is required to freeze the design of the aircraft, which is expected to be completed in April 2025. Officials of Russia's Rostec Corporation has confirmed that Russia has offered the 142 kN product 177S engine not only for India's Super Shukhoi upgrade program, but also for India's AMCA fifth generation fighter program. Rostec's proposal includes the potential for local manufacturing by Hindustan Aeronautics, and the high degree of component commonality between the product 177S and AL-31 FP will facilitate a smooth transition to indigenous production. The missile approach warning system being developed for Tejas Mark II program is currently under trials, and it will be ready by December this year. Six MOS will be mounted on different parts of the Tejas Mark II, that will provide 360-degree coverage around the aircraft, allowing for autonomous detection tracking and automatic queue generation for approaching missiles. It can detect multiple threats with a low false alarm rate, and can initiate automatic countermeasure queuing. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.